can He-Man be saved? Or will Kevin Smith's tears bring forth salt or bring forth foul nectar? We'll find out on this review of He-Man Revolution. Welcome! We're going to talk a little bit about He-Man Revolution. That's the third season of this He-Man thing. They named it something totally different so that you wouldn't go to the old thing and see it was a season three. And that way, like, it would be something totally different because if they put it as season three, no one would even attempt to watch it. That's clearly a ploy by Netflix to make sure people give it a shot because they're like, please watch our He-Man! I didn't even finish the second season, so I have no idea even what happens. Uh, so when it starts, I'm a little confused. Anyway, my name is Z, and I am here from Our Reviews Will Kill You to give you a little breakdown. I only watched the first two episodes of He-Man Revolution. It's very short. Uh, it's only five episodes compared to the other ones, which are a little bit longer. Clearly, they tried to reverse course on this one. The first ten minutes are balls to the wall. He-Man action all over your face. And he does seem to be the primary lead of the show. From what I've seen so far, the basic plot is as follows, as I understand it. Um, and I don't want to spoil a ton, but He-Man must make a choice uh, for Eternia. Will he be its protector or will he be its king due to some unforeseen circumstances Adam and He-Man must step up and decide what are they going to do. And it looks like Skeletor has his own plans as well. So there's there's a little bit going on there. And then on top of it, uh, uh, Tila has her own mission, which is something about getting more staffs. She needs all them staffs. She needs more wands, magic wands, so she can wand herself. Um, by the way, and I think this happened in the second season you know, the first season was so disastrous, they lost Sarah Michelle Gellar and replaced her with Melissa Benoit, who likes them Benoit balls. We're going to look at it. I just wanted to point out, like, it's a tier, like an A-tier voice cast. Like, the voice cast is pretty incredible. Um, Who do you got here? Who do we got? Who do we got? Got Steven Root. Got Mark Hamill. You've got Star Trek people galore. You've got Gates McFadden, William Shatner. Um, who else? You have somebody else. Oh, they don't even list him. Um, Q, John Delaney. They don't. They don't list him as as a voice actor in this, even though he clearly is. You also have Tony Todd, amazing voice actor. You've got two people, Lena Dunham uh, and uh, Liam Cunningham, both from Games of Thrones. Like, there. This is crazy. All these people. So interesting. Interesting. So far, IMDb has it rated, and all, all the episodes obviously dropped because it's Netflix, and that's what they do. I don't know that people are going to want to watch this. I don't know. It's, it's I think it's too little too late as uh, as they should. What was the rating? What were they What are they rated here, IMDb? I thought they rated it, rated it like an 8.1 or something like that. 8.6, 8.8. I heard, though. Well, we'll keep going. Um... <clears throat> so yeah, there's five episodes. Same animation style, which everybody liked, but you know they lost so many people. For those of you who don't remember, there was a big time controversy on the first He-Man, um, He-Man Revelation, which uh, basically He-Man dies and was sidelined in the entire. Like he dies in the first episode and is sidelined in the entire rest of it. He comes back eventually, but the, and then it's just the Tila show. Super little amounts of fun with that. Season two is so bad, I didn't even bother to finish it. So I do remember there's a whole part where Tila becomes the bestest ever and she becomes the sorceress. And, you know, you've always been destined for greatness because you are the greatest. Literally, literally doesn't train to become a sorceress at all. She's like a, you know, sword wielding battle maiden, but nah, it's cool. It's not like she's been studying spells since she was a kid. She can just pick it up instantly. It's cool. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, so this is a little weird, though. And I don't want to spoil anything, but it's baiting right-wingers? Like, well, this is from comic book news. Uh, I don't really understand. I, if I, I cannot tell you the spoiler. And, and if I get to it, I think I will go back. 
and I will have to revisit. If it's really what happened, I will be absolutely gobsmacked that they decided to do they decided to do the bait and switch at the end instead of the beginning, which is pretty hysterical. But you know, from what I have seen in the first two episodes, it's fine. It, I, I think I just wasn't interested because I knew what they did. And I knew how they destroyed the franchise. They didn't change showrunners. Kevin Smith is not really the guy in charge of it. It's really this other guy. Um, who's the guy who's in charge of it? They won't even tell you. They're cowards. They won't tell you the showrunners. They'll just t tell you the cast. Let's see. Maybe I can find them in this. <clears throat> but Kevin Smith is like just the dude on it. He's not much else. Um, yeah, they don't even want to tell you because they're so because they're the same people. And there's not a lot of reviews, so there's not... I mean, it just came out, so people will have time. And again, I don't want to spoil everything. Why don't you give a, a vague plot? Animation still looks great. So far, I'm going to give it a... It was a little boring, so I'm going to give it a trepid uh, 6.5. Uh, it's a little weird, too, because they... Um, there's a bastard reference in this. And I thought this was for kids, so... Maybe it's not because it's PG, and I saw some sort of snake dragon thing get his head shot off, so... Maybe it's not for kids. And uh, Tila takes one in the face from a dragon. That's also not for kids. <laughs> so I don't know. Tell me what you think. If you liked it, if you watched it, are you even going to give it a chance? Are you going to spit in Kevin Smith's eye? I don't know. You tell me what you're going to do. Because for now, I, I, I guess it's five episodes of like 25 minutes or a half hour each. I could finish it. If you guys want me to finish it, let me know in the comments below. I will attempt to make more jokes about it. And and the big wicked surprise at the end might just be the fun. I will I might fall out of my chair here if it's true. I just can't believe it's true. Oh wow. Well, anyway, <clears throat> hey, uh, like and subscribe. We do uh, do blah, blah, blah. we do appreciate that. It does help. Thank you. We do we do like that. And uh, catch our podcast. It's a it's an audio podcast, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. You can also catch the live stream here on YouTube. You can also catch us on Rumble, all those other great places. But for now, I am done with He-Man. Oh, did I give it a rating? Uh, yeah, 6.5. Yeah, 7, 6.5, something like that. But anyway, you've heard enough from me. It's now time to hear from you in the comments. Let me know down below. But I'm on to the next one. <laughs>